So I'm going to try to show you the most basic features of Stella here. First was just created a thing called a stock, which in this case is a population. Next is going to be a flow into the stock. In this case, it's going to be bursts per time. And then we're going to create a uh, converter down here, which is like a variable. Uh, in this case, the variable is the birth rate. Next, we're going to connect those two variables with a thing called a connector because uh, the burst per time is a function of the birth rate. And then we're also going to connect it to the population because it's a function of the two of those. Next, we set an initial value for the population of 100,000. And then we're going to set an initial birth rate. So the birth rate is going to be set to 55 per thousand. And the, it's very important to have the units. It's going to be people per people per time. Next, we're going to actually set, set that equation. Uh, so the burst per time is going to be a function of population and birth rate. Uh, so that was just set up in that equation there. And again, put the units in. Next, we're going to create a graph here. And for the graph, we're going to set the specifications. It's going to go from 0 to 50 years, calculated one time a year. Next, set up the y-axis for this graph. And then run the graph. And there's the equation. Uh, excuse me, the graph. So here's a more complicated model. This is a model of an epidemic. Uh, notice shown here is an uninfected population. This is an affecting population with no symptoms. Uh, this is an infected population with, with symptoms. This is a recovered population. And then this is a population that died. And they're also shown on the graph here. So here, number one, the blue is the original population. Number two, is the infected population with no symptoms. Number three is the uh, infected population with systems, uh, symptoms. Number four is the inf recovered population. And number five is the population that died. And my understanding is that, the, for example, the federal government used a stellar model of the flu epidemic that occurred a few years back where there wasn't enough vaccine and the government had to kind of strategically come up with who should get the limited, the limited amount of vaccine. And then over time, the amount of vaccine was changing. Uh, and so they would be able, you would be able to model things like that with a Stella model. Finally, I'd like to show you the layer of Stella uh, that allows you to make your model user friendly. Uh, it's called the interface layer over here. And um, it just is a different layer of material and it allows people to look at your model and work with it the, who aren't familiar with exactly how it's made. So for example, there's an overview here. And the overview allows you to you know, write some text here about how, what your model is and how it works. Um, here, uh, this is uh, a bunch of the variables that are in my model. Uh, this is the influent nitrate nitrogen concentration. This is the a decay rate. You can pick numbers on the dial here to use. Um, and finally, there's a flow rate here that's going through the wetland. And uh, there's there's a home button so I can get back home. And uh, then there's the actual model itself. And so then you can click the button and you can run the model. And then finally, uh, there's a button that allows you to explain the model. So again, here's some text that explains it. And if I hit the space bar, I can reveal the various uh, parts of the model um, here and show the reader or the user exactly how the model works.